chances are, if you were born poor, you will die poor. 16% of all Americans live in poverty. We see it all the time. I mean, there's multi-generational families living in a unit, and there's history that, you know, they, they, that's just their way of life for them. Some individuals, they were born with a very little, have very difficult life, but their accomplishments are actually uh, astonishing and uh, also really admirable, but it's not easy. 70% of Americans who are born poor stay poor. Vernon Parker was born on the mean streets of Long Beach, California. Having grown up on welfare for a brief period, uh, my mother and my grandmother, they raised me, mainly my grandmother. She cleaned houses and her, her father was the son of a slave. It's a long road from poverty to the halls of Congress. My mother, uh, we didn't live in the rich part of Long Beach, so what she did was that she voluntarily bused me to Long Beach Wilson, and there, you know, a lot of kids there, you know, their parents were doctors, they were lawyers. <laughs> Darren Chapman's road out was different. And this guy, after going through school, couldn't get a job. And I thought, you know what, man, this is a charade. This, this school stuff, when I left, I left under the wrong pretenses. I, I saw one man, and it just gave me an excuse to do what I wanted to do. He was on the same road that lots of young people are on when they are poor. I, I was um, 13 years old, and I remember the teacher in class saying that the la average life expectancy for a black man in, in, in our community was 25 years old. I just had this feeling on my 25th birthday as I sat in this maximum security jailhouse. Something's going to change in my life. Parker's journey is logical. Chapman's journey is spiritual. But that 25th birthday, my grandfather, who was my idol, he passed away. And I'm not so sure that that night in that jail cell, my grandfather's spirit as he left didn't touch me in some way because that night was kind of the night for me to kind of go, man, I, I really need to change my life. Oh, okay. All right. As different as their paths were, it is interesting how similar were their motivations. Failure cannot be an option. I didn't want to let my grandmother down because she was 70 something years old at the time. Uh, she started at that age cleaning houses once again, my mother took on a second job. When you have that, it's, it's, it's like, I'm not going to let them down. I'm not going to let myself down. People, they, they do well, and they want to escape the community. The crying call, the, the charge is, hey, man, I'm going to, man, I'm going to do real well, and I'm going to leave the ghetto. I'm going to do real well, and I'm going to leave the hood. But for me, doing real well meant that you can actually do something for your community. Parker went on to be the mayor of Paradise Valley. <laughs> Chapman started Tiger Mountain Foundation in South Phoenix to help young people get out of poverty. Lives less different than they may seem. Lives completely different from what they were supposed to be.